So what is the most important trait for any true community, any true content creator? Consistency. And it's come to my attention that, and this is no call out, by the way. I want to make this clear. It's come to my attention that some of you believe I need to have a more consistent upload schedule, right? And if you're out there and you're saying, do you, man, whatever else, I appreciate you and I love it. I love the support. But me, myself, I've always believed I need a consistent upload schedule. You guys deserve it. You guys have shown me nothing but love. Day after day, month after month, you guys have shown me mad support. We're on our way to 800 subs. I appreciate every last one of you from the good, the bad, the beautiful, the ugly, whatever the comments look like, whatever the views look like, whatever the likes look like, I don't care. You guys come through, you give my channel a chance, and I appreciate you for it. Now, let me sit my ass down. First off, what's good, you guys? It's your boy TGU, and I'm back again with yet another special banger for you. You feel me? So, I wanted to touch on that real quick because the best way for me to develop a consistent upload schedule is if I'm able to see this thing going long term. Like, if, if I'm able to see you to become that next big step in my life, right? I can't take YouTube any more seriously if I'm not seeing anything from it, right? Growth is fantastic. I love the growth. I love it's steady. It keeps me motivated. I under, I appreciate it. But if I'm not able to see, hey, you know, YouTube, I can use this to provide for my family. The family I plan, I plan to have for myself soon in my own life with my girlfriend. If I'm not able to see that type of vision with it in the near future, there's not going to be any promise of a consistent schedule. All I can do, the best I can do for every week is drop a, hey, these are the, the couple of days you can expect a video. Or I can lock on to the weekends where I'm off work and I have a little bit more time to myself to where I can even do more videos. The problem with the weekend, locking down the weekend, is that obviously I'm not the only one off. There are my, There's my girlfriend, there's other people, my family, my mother, my sister, people who want to see me and, and, and enjoy my time when I'm off to be able to interact with me. And sometimes I can't promise a video in those days. So... What I need from you guys, right? This is the official announcement. And it's it's funny, it comes at the time when I want to talk about consistency. I have now launched a Patreon, right? I think I've mentioned this in the pre in a, in a past video, in the last couple of videos, that I was working on it, waiting for it to get approved. It's been approved. So now I've launched a Patreon. All on board if you wish to support your boy TGU and you wish to see this thing take off sooner rather than later, right? Because the grind, I'm all for the grind, however short or long it is. But if we can reach our goal sooner as the goon squad, get into a higher tier in the YouTube scene, right? Inviting in more into this lovely community of welcoming individuals of hype individuals of inclusive individuals 
we can really make something happen. So, for anyone that's interested and willing to, you know, help a brother out, I'm going to drop the Patreon link in the description below. And that's all that I got for that one. So, hope you guys enjoyed today's reaction. Let's get right to it, man. What's up, Goon Squad? It's your boy T-G-U. Hey, say it with me now. T-G-U. Hey, T-G-U. Hey, T-G-U. Hey, T-G-U. And we back again with another special what? What we got? Another special treat for you. You feel me? Hey, listen, man. Today... I bring y'all the small dark one by Little Darky. It's been widely requested. You guys want, you know, I put up a poll. It clearly won the poll. So I ain't gonna waste no more time with it. Hey, if you're new to the Goon Squad, feel free to come join the gang today. We are on our way to our first 1K. But before we get there, we gotta hit up that 800 subs. So come join the squad today. We on our way to that goal together. As well, I already made the mention before, the Patreon link will be in the description below, as well as a link to the Discord server if you wish to come through and join us on the Discord. We are very close to eight, to about 100 uh, members in the Discord, so hey, come on, slide through if you want to, and uh, just come vibe out with the game. But yeah, man, uh, let's get right to it. Track one we got is Go, produced by... Salsa. Let's see what they're talking about here, man. Let's see what they're talking about. Welcome. Welcome. I got it. Alright. We got that type of vibe from Darky. I'm going to pause real quick. I'm going to let it go. I promise I'm going to let it go. But I promise that I, I need to say something real quick. Okay? Someone told me that this EP got more of like that melodic singing darky. That you know, you guys know I vibe with that darky more than any darky, right? Like the hype darky, sometimes it's... it's the hype darky is hit or miss for me, man. Like sometimes I just be looking at the screen or I be just like with my eyes closed just like... What the fuck is he talking about? And then, you know what I'm saying? But when I get the melodic darky, most times the lyricism is clean. It's well, not that it's like, oh, it has to be curse word uh, free for me to enjoy the song. No, he can be cursing and saying whatever he wants on his tracks. I don't care about that. It's just more so about the vibe, everything I get from that track. And that's why tracks like I Can See Clearly, uh, Baby Me, even I Don't Know, um, I love these type of tracks. I love those tracks so much. So we get something like that in this EP. Y'all are gonna make me happy. But let's get going. Okay. Uh, all right. What we got, man? You kind of just, kind of just switched up the whole vibe there with that. You know what? It's been a it's been a second since I've just let darky tracks kind of go without skipping through them a whole lot. So I hope y'all appreciate that as well because I know that you know in the last couple albums I've been doing that like skip method and it's really just to get around a whole bunch of like copyright issues with like you know certain tracks for artists. Um, 
But I feel like we're, we're, we're pretty in the clear. I don't care about, you know, copyright claims or anything else. Cause that's like, I truly do support all these artists. So if they have a, if they happen to have a claim on their, on their material or whatever else go, you know, open season, go ahead and just claim whatever the hell you want. I, I really don't care, but let's get back to it though. Now strikes. I ain't want no strikes in my champion. an outro shit so that was go i'm actually just gonna pause it it's just some some outro shit but yeah that was go um i mean solid enough honestly it's it, it seems like pretty average for a darky track um you guys probably got you know higher praise for it than that for me it was really average um if I'm thinking like in the entire collection of Darky songs I've already listened to, like I can literally drop that, whoop, airdrop that into a, a collection of his songs and just not really care. Like I, I wouldn't know where to pick it out from, right? If I was to drop something like, like, um, hanging myself with my phone charger, right? Boom, I can find that instantly. That shit left an impression on me. This one, I don't feel like it left too much of an impression on me. It's just kind of like, uh, it's just there. But next track we got here is Expectation, produced again by Solsa as well as uh, Scott Skate. I guess it's Scott, uh, what is this? Scottsker, 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 I guess, and uh, MK Ultra. Anyways, let's get going. Let's get going and see what it's talking about. Thanks everyone for baking your way here on this toasty morning. Or you can get it all to- All right, expectation. Let's get to it, man. I just did some weird ass shit. Y'all might see it, y'all might not. It depends on how funny I feel like it is in the, in the edit. Like artists like Sewer Person, um, I can't say truly like I, I I throw Haylog in there in terms of like when I say versatility for Haylog, like they're they're I guess the the word for Haylog would be like volatile, like their 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 musical style is like very like explosive, you know what I'm saying? Like because it, it's it's build up, build up, build up, boom explode and then come back down and then it builds up again and booms again but for darky 
right? It's so versatile the way he like just kind of ebbs and flows into the different genres of music, the different vibes he can set with everything he's doing, both in the production and just the way he sets the mood with like his tone of voice, his cadence, you know, all his things. So I can really appreciate that about Darkie. And so far, I'm really liking the vibe of this track. This track, so far, would I put it in tears with like, I can see clearly and, and baby me and in terms of those vibes, I don't know. It's got its own little vibe, though. I like the little the little mystical, whimsical uh, production in the background. I like that. It's, it's really setting something for me. Soft tone with Arky? Soft tone? I love, I love my instruments. I love them. All right, man. So that was expectation. I'm gonna go ahead and pause it now. At that point, really solid track. Um, I'd say it's it's, it's about it's you know slightly above average. I'm not gonna put it in like some crazy high tier or anything. I feel like it was just you know it was really it was really nice track, and instead of vibe that I really like. So yeah. Next up, we got track three. Do more drugs. It's produced by. Uh, 19 Akira and Brahman. So let's see what they're talking about in this one, man. But gotta do more drugs, man. You got, you got, you gotta do more drugs. You gotta get high, man. You gotta, you gotta feel me in the clouds, man. basically just saying like you know it takes it takes those drugs for him to really uh do or even enjoy uh a lot of the daily activities you know getting out of you know getting out the house and just enjoying his time with people uh eating food you know stuff like that you know he needs his drugs man he needs his drugs to 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 get going basically to get going to feel and um to an extent to an extent, I can feel that not to not related to drugs or anything, because I don't take too many drugs or anything like that. But in terms of like needing that extra oomph, that that extra thing to get me to enjoy this meal or enjoy this time out or to enjoy doing this activity, hell, man, sometimes to enjoy making this video. You know what I'm saying? I need a little extra oomph, so I can get that to an degree. I can get that. No, please, no. C M Punk, ugly. <laughs> if you know, then you know. This is 
I'm liking this beat, I'm liking this. I'm liking this, Darky. This, like, beat bop. You know what I'm saying? Like, the, the nice, chill beatbox back, you know, in the background. Darky just getting in his bag a little bit. Just kind of spitting on the track. You know what I'm saying? Don't have to do all the extra. All this extra, you know, weirdo, crazy shit. You guys, sometimes, you just chill out. And he just and he just lets he just let it flow out. He just let it flow, man. I like it. He he talking his talk. He's talking some real shit. He's talking about he's talk still talking about his drug use and everything else. You know what I'm saying? But also talking about some real shit. And I just appreciate this track. I appreciate what he's doing here with this one. Let's let's keep going though. Last day. Desire is a dimension of hell. And don't confuse happiness with pleasure or well. And don't confuse facts with emotions you felt. I think I think that might be my favorite one so far. Do more drugs. Oh, I thought that was me for a second. I thought my Wi-Fi literally like took a dump on itself and my laptop was stuck in repeat or some shit. But uh yeah, that's probably my favorite track so far. Do more drugs. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. Next track though we got here is Boop. Produced by Salsa. Salsa seems to be a constant on here. Uh it seems like Wendigo is up next. Um we taking a break from Salsa for a second and going to Wendigo on track five, but let's get to track four. Goop. Goop. Such a funny word. Such a funny word. L certified. You know what else is Alexis funny? was named 2020's Ads. best CPO program by US News Ads and World Report. Because we believe everyone deserves to fall in love with their car. Mm -hmm. And not just any car. A car you'd love to drive and be seen driving. Okay. A Lexus. Find love for yourself with L certified by Lexus. A collection sure. of pre owned vehicles. Experience yes. amazing exclusively at your Lexus dealer. Maybe. View US News best cars at cars.usnews.com. You're not making it into the video. So we have a couple things to talk about. One, you just disrespected me, told me to shut the fuck up. Not appreciating that. Two, you claiming to be the best rapper of all time. So I'm assuming this is about you about to spaz. I'm assuming you are about to spaz. If you do not spaz, this song is mid. I challenge you to not, to not let me down right now. You just claim to be the best rapper of all time. Show me. Actions over words. Show me. All right, beats there. I 
these rappers up, I'm like a fucking cannibal. You wanna hate mm. the shit I do? Well, that's understandable. I would hate me too if I were you. Okay. That was goo. All right, Dark, you you survived. You survived. It's not mid. It's not mid. It was it was a solid track. Honestly, midway through, y'all saw me look at the camera. I was like, like is, is this is this what we going with? Is this serious? Like, what are we doing? And then and then he started turning up, and I had to lock back in. And he said he said, all right, don't don't sleep on me just yet. Don't fall asleep on me just yet. This ain't Steph Curry night night. You feel me? Don't sleep on me just yet. I, I'm sorry, Darky. It was a solid track. Anyways, track five. Excuse me. Track five we got is Bam, produced by Wendigo. Let's get right to it. After this, we got two more tracks. Oh! Oh, damn! Oh! bring that shit back. Hold on. The way that came in? Hold on. No, you gotta go all the way back on that. Hold on. Oh! Oh, this is looking promising. Hold on, wait. Let me lock in. Nah, this is it. 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 This is the one. This is the one. I was waiting for this one. I didn't know which track it was gonna be. One, two, three, four. It happened to be five. It took five tracks, but it was the one. All right. The way it came in, the way it's carried. We around the end of the song, and I'm still locked in. This shit's crazy. I love it. Come on, man. Bam got it. Bam got it. 
Oh, yeah, that's the best one so far. Easy. 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 What the fuck? Easily. Yo. I that's gonna be hard to top. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. But next track, track six, we got here another Wendigo Productions with Broadman, by the way. We got Dreamin'. Let's see if Dreamin' holds up. Because once Wendy started, once Wendy's, once Wind touched this EP, it became golden. So let's see if it keeps going. Let's see if it keeps going. <laughs> Oh, 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 I'm a fan already. See, you see, I, listen, if a lot of y'all weren't feeling the first half of this vid, yeah, I wasn't feeling like, ah, uh, he's not really fucking with his first half. Nah, 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 nah. Hey, listen, the second half already looking very fucking juicy. Let's get right back into it, man. Let's get to it, man. It, I, I had to wait for that one thing to wake me up to waken the beast. Okay, let me see. Oh. <laughs> Honestly, sorry, I'm not saying too much, y'all. I'm just vibing right now. But this this really is a very, very good example of setting the mood. Setting the vibe, setting the mood, whatever you want to say, right? This is a great way to set the vibe, right? Right out the gate, the production, setting it, setting it up. And then the way he came in, he carried it on with what he was saying. The message in his, in his lyrics as well as the way he was delivering his lyrics Truly, truly great. Let's get back, Jack. Let's get back to it. My bad.
back to rapping about shit that I care about. My mother wasn't a where are my whereabouts. In a new place, new city, new friends. Some turn to enemies in the end. I've grown so much since making that song. Don't play around me. Tell me to my face if you got something to say about me. I am not who they say I am very frequently. Every day I wonder why we can't be treated equally. I wish it was as simple as just shifting a frequency. Then we could fix all of our problems very easily. My family believes in me. And as of recently, I've been living peacefully. fuck with that one man yo all right bro that was dreaming uh second to last track and i think that really that that really was a very good experience vibe wise i i, I definitely just fell fell into the into the story that 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 whole song was was portraying you know Anywho, let's get to the the last track here. This is produced strictly by Brahman. Uh, it's called Om or O H M Om. Um, let's get right to it, man. See what they're talking about. Yeah. All right. Om. I will say, even though I like those tracks, nothing has really touched BAM, so we're going to see what's going on in a second. What kind of timing are they on? Let's see what they're talking about. I'm not too sure about this part. It's not making me lock in. It's it's uh, I'm I'm not feeling anything from this actually. Um, so we're gonna see when this beat drops. See what's happening. I was trying to just keep cool, just be like, all right, it's gonna it's gonna drop soon, and something's gonna pick up soon, and it's gonna switch the beat soon, it's gonna switch the flow soon, it's gonna switch the vibe soon. What the hell is this? We're about almost done with the track. It's about oh, it's a little over halfway through the track, and this is all we've been hearing. So like mystical chant music. What the fuck is this? Damn, damn, damn. I'm gonna say my last thoughts in for the end. For the end. <laughs> I'm a sucker for the guitars, for the strings, for the instrumental strings. 
You know I'm a, you know I'm a sucker for those. Don't try to play me. Pretty sure that was just some like outro shit, but uh, it, it has so much, it has so much potential to do something else, but instead he just chose that route. I don't understand. Like that's not how I wanted to end this EP. It was building up. It was building up. It was doing good in the second half. Bam, followed by dreaming. Right? Yeah. Even Goop was okay. Like, ugh. I don't know, y'all. I know y'all were excited to see my reaction to it. And honestly, my my genuine first reaction take is that this was um it it wasn't it, it wasn't anything too too crazy. I mean, honestly, I'm, I'm I'm sorry to say. I'm I understand it had his his melodic time or his melodic tracks and and you know it said some vibes and whatever else, and you guys know I fuck with that shit, but it, it, a lot of these was like, uh, you know, like, very average, I can throw these away, oh, I, I don't, I probably will never listen to that again, um, I understand its purpose, but goddamn, I did not like that track at all, um, what's it, Dreaming was, was very good, I like, I like Dreaming, like, the vibe it was setting there, I like that, Bam was the highlight of, of this EP. Bam. I'm downloading Bam right after this reaction. And. And. I'm going to be playing that shit every day. That shit was fire. I like Bam. Bam was fire. Goop was solid. I liked Goop. Goop was solid. Uh, Do More Drugs was solid. What else? What else we want? What else we going for? Uh, Expectation. Was it, expectation was okay. It was it was solid too. Go, I can do without go. Go was go was very average. I I, I didn't really care about go. But yeah, that's all for me, y'all. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed the reaction for what it was worth. Um, if you're new, feel free to come join the Goon Squad today. We are on our way to our first one K as I said earlier. But before that, we gotta hit up 800 subs. So be one of those on our way to that goal. Also, if you like the video. Feel free to drop a like. Your boy always appreciates the support. Let's try to get, uh, let's say, 20 likes on this video. 20 likes on this video. Y'all see another darky this weekend. If not, all good. You guys will still see a darky video sometime soon. It just probably won't be as soon as this weekend. Um, in terms of what I was talking about earlier in the intro, consistency, trying to be on a consistent upload schedule. Unless I see some, some support like come through, and I hate to make it about money, but it really is about that. Because a lot of times what happens during the weekdays is that I'm too tired after work to commit to putting out a, top, a pocket of time to do something else. And by the time I'm waking up, I have to go do something else. I get rare occasions like this on weekdays where I'm able to sit down, record a video, be able to edit, and then upload. And so that's why I pick out certain days to do that. If you guys feel like, hey, you know, use those days then to be on your schedule and make it consistent. That's the thing. There's no, there's never like a consistent thing for me to set those days in the weekdays. The only time I'll be able to consistently make a schedule is for the weekends. And even then, those are very versatile because, you know, who's to say something doesn't spring up and have to go do that. But yeah, man, things will be done. I'll start making sacrifices for this channel. The more support I see for it, uh, I can't go head first and dive right in unless I see some real support. So that's all from your boy TGU. I love y'all as always. I appreciate the support nonetheless. 
whether it's through money, through likes, through views, through comments, whatever the case may be, I love it all. You guys are great. You guys are phenomenal. Shout out to you guys for recent support in the videos as well. Um, the sewer person and Halog reactions that I dropped a couple days ago have been doing great numbers. They're doing fantastic, so I appreciate y'all for that. And as always, it's been your boy TG. Now sign out for right now.